first tonight, the University of Houston announces a potential breakthrough vaccine linked to the deadly drug fentanyl. The vaccine stops fentanyl from getting into the brain, eliminating uh, and affecting uh, forms of the drug. Turn to two, uh, turning to your health. Two News reporter Caroline Moore spoke with local community leaders who anticipate the vaccine to have a major impact here. The lead researcher in the study says the vaccine could protect people who are inadvertently exposed to fentanyl, but is designed for people who are addicted to the drug. Now, local community leaders here say the vaccine's potential could create a new future here in Dayton. We have the possibility of blocking it in the same way that naloxone works, and we can save more lives. It thrills me to hear this. A fentanyl vaccine is currently being studied that would prevent the drug from entering a person's brain, ultimately eliminating any euphoric or lethal effects. Now, if the vaccine is a success, Adamus's executive director, Helen Jones Kelly, believes it could change the course of the Miami Valley. If you're not getting it with fentanyl, with a lot of folks, it'll be, well, why bother? You know, because it's such an insidious drug. It um, doesn't take much to take someone's life. The Montgomery County Coroner's Office says nearly every sample of street drug they obtain is mixed with fentanyl, and sometimes users aren't aware of the mixture's ingredients. Through the crime lab, we'll find a product, a powder sample or something that contains 10 different substances, and there is no abuse potential to the vaccine. You're just creating a, a mechanism in the body to attack the fentanyl chemical. The coroner's office says the treatment and recovery phase is the most difficult stage for users, but this vaccine has a possibility to change the course of many lives here in Dayton. We do see too many deaths from overdoses. They're constant and regular, and you know the the Vivitrol, other other blockers exist. But if this you know, vaccine has promise and is effective to get people you know through the addiction treatment phases to recovery, would be great. Now, the University of Houston says the study is still in its early stages. They still need to do a toxicology study, plus get FDA approval for human trials. But if they're hopeful, if everything goes according to plan, the three-dose shot could be available in three to four years. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, 5 on 2.